Blu-ray collection part. I've run out of fingers. Eleven. Hi, hi, everybody. I'm not taking my shoes and socks off. It's part 11 of my Blu-ray collection. Um, so this is films, TV, music, comedy. Um, I'll just keep getting into it. Uh, this is Oculus. I bought this because Karen Gillan's in it, basically. But it was re And Katie Sackhoff. Um, but it was a really good film. I know it's well-respected amongst horror fans. Um, about Cursed Mirror and disappearing parents and all sorts of stuff but yeah really good our release of inferno the dario argento film uh i'm trying to remember which one this is i don't remember much about this one to be honest even reading the synopsis isn't doing much for me No, I'm not going to comment any further because I don't remember anything about the film. <clears throat> Doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it, it's just that it wasn't memorable. Uh, this is a boat that rocked. So this was um, Richard Curtis's post-Love Actually film. It's I saw it in the cinema, I really enjoyed it, I really liked the film. It's received a fair bit of criticism because there's one scene that is basically a rape but it's played off as a joke. Um, but other than that, it's about the um, pirate radio stations in the 60s, sort of Radio Caroline and Radio Luxembourg and that sort of stuff. This is Radio Rock. But yeah, really good cast. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Bill Nye, Nick Frost, Reese Evans, Kenneth Branagh, uh, January Jones. Yeah, just, I enjoyed it a lot. Blue Valentine, starring Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams. As I've mentioned before, big fan of Michelle Williams. I think she's one of the best actresses working today. Uh, it's basically just a love story, but it's a bit, you know, it's not a love story but always runs true. So yeah, really good film. It's my favourite film ever. This is JFK. This is a, the director's cut in a book with sort of, uh, yes. making of information and bits in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, commentary. This has got the Beyond JFK feature-length documentary on here so I had this on VHS I had it was a big double pack that had a 190 what is it, 192 minutes something like that with version director's cut 205 minutes even more um, the director's cut on one tape and then this 90 plus minute documentary on the other tape but that's all on here, along with lots of other stuff as well. But yes, as I say, this is my favourite film ever made. Okay, I've just had a pile fall over and I think some of them have gone behind my bed. Right, that's been rescued. Where was I? Okay, so next up we have Byzantium. Really good film. Uh, it's directed by Neil Jordan, who did Interview of Vampire, Company of Wolves, various other films. <sighs> um, stars Gemma Arterton and Sasha Ronan. It's a horror film. Basically, Gemma Arterton's turned into a vampire. Sasha Ronan's her daughter, who is also a vampire. They moved to Brighton. Somewhere like that. I can't remember, but... A, British seaside town. Um, and it's just sort of the story of them trying to survive there with sort of flashbacks and what have you. But yeah, really good film. Another Bill Bailey Blu ray. This is also a signed copy bought through his website. I showed one in a previous part. 
This is Dandelion Mind. This was filmed in Dublin. As I mentioned before, just a big fan of Bill. Love all his stuff. This is an Arrow release. This is Theatre of Blood. Uh, so it's a sort of a black comedy, horror comedy. Uh, Vincent Blood is a Shakespearean actor who gets some decides to take revenge on all the critics who ever slated him. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and this has got an audio commentary by the League of Gentlemen, which is the main reason I wanted it. <coughs> this is Cemetery Junction. So this is the film that Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant wrote and then Ricky directed uh, Post Extras. Yeah, really good film. Great cast. Uh, Christian Cook, Felicity Jones, Tom Hughes, Jack Doolan, Emily Watson, Ricky, Matthew Good, Ray, Ray Fiennes. It's a it's in the 70s and it's about a kid moving, well, dreaming of breaking free of his hometown, basically. But yeah, really good film. This is Burke and Hare. I enjoyed this a lot. This is directed by John Landis. Uh, so it's a comedy take on Burke and Hare, the grave diggers, uh, grave robbers rather. Uh, yeah, good cast. Tom Wilkinson, Tim Curry, Jessica Hines, Bill Bailey. Isla Fisher, um, Simon Pegg and um, Andy Serkis play Burke and Hare. Uh, Ronnie Corbett's in it. Yeah, a lot of fun. <coughs> this is Pixar's Brave. Didn't love this. It was okay. It was visually impressive, but didn't love it personally. This was The Box. This was a strange one. Another film I probably need to re-watch to appreciate a bit more. Uh, so Cameron Diaz and James Marsden are a married couple. Frank Langella turns up uh, with a box that basically, I think it was, if I remember correctly, if you press this button, you'll get, or was it? Um, yeah, you get a million dollars, but somebody you don't know will die. And it's, you know, what will you do? And then... It turns out it's not necessarily as straightforward as that anyway. This is season two of The Borgias. I really enjoyed The Borgias. This is season one of The Borgias. Um, yeah, as I say, really enjoyed that. Sort of similar to The Tudors in style. Great cast. Season three I have, but only on DVD because it was never released on Blu-ray. I have already shown that somewhere. I think it was up. No, maybe not, but I've definitely shown that already anyway. Uh, Boogie Nights, great film, saw it in the cinema, always loved it. Another film I've, I think I've owned on every format. No, I might not have had it on VHS, I might have gone straight to DVD. Anyway, um, yeah, just absolutely love this film. It's just brilliant. Uh, Casino Royale. This is the, what am I calling it, the deluxe edition. So Casino Royale was the last Bond film that I got on DVD before I got a Blu-ray player. But as soon as I got a Blu-ray player, I bought it on Blu-ray and got this version. Uh, it's got a collector's booklet in there somewhere. And loads of special features that aren't on the original release. And it's in this nice waxy box uh, and on a Casino Royale trip this is the 1967 Casino Royale which I've always enjoyed you know it's not a Bond film in any way but it's a lot of fun I, I, I've always enjoyed that sort of 60s too many drugs psychedelic-ish comedy that was prevalent around the same time as this and yeah and the women in this god there's some gorgeous women in this Dahlia Levy uh Barbara Boucher yeah um and now I'm gonna forget them all Usher Andress obviously uh uh I'll play Martha Hari um Joanna Petet however you say her name uh who's your um Angela Scala, just, yeah, just loads of gorgeous women in this. Anyway, but yes, yeah, so that's Casino Royale. 
Uh, we have Cars 2, which I know gets slated a lot, but this is my favourite Cars film. I really, really enjoy this. Maybe because it's maybe it's because I'm a Bond fan, and it's you know spies and what have you. But I just really, really enjoy Cars 2. Sorry. Uh, this is Clark's 15th anniversary edition. Main reason for upgrading this was this has got the documentary, or has it? No, it hasn't. Ignore that. Um, this has got loads of extras on it anyway, but aren't on the previous, the 10th anniversary release that I've already shown. I thought we said I had a lovely tea party on. Yeah. Unless it has and it's not credited. It's either this or Chasing Amy, which I've previously shown. I'm pretty certain I also have the documentary Oh What a Lovely Tea Party, which is actually the making of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. But neither of them is it written on there, but it's on the disc. So is it just on there but not credited? I'm just getting ready to Google it. Am I imagining it? Or was it not on the UK version? Come on computer, hurry up. Yes. I think it's on here, but not credited. I think. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is a film by Radley Metzger. Uh, this is an Arrow release. Arrow, yeah, just normal Arrow. Um, who directed the opening of Misty Beethoven, which was a comedy porn. Um, and he also directed Score, which I've got as well, which you'll see at some point. Um, so this is a strange one. It's... I don't really know how to describe this. It's very strange. It's all right. <laughs> I can't go anymore with that. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Cabin in the Woods, so this was created by Joss Whedon and Drew Goddard, they wrote it, Drew directed it, brilliant, brilliant film, starts off as your slash, um, well not slashery, but your, your Cabin in the Woods horror story, and then it takes a dr really dramatic twist halfway through, which I won't tell you any more about for fear of spoiling it, um, Chris Hemsworth, pre-fame pre really, is in this. Anna Hutchinson, Kristen Connolly, Fran Kranz from Dollhouse, uh, Jesse Williams, Richard Jenkins, Bradley Whitford. But this isn't about the cast, this is about the story. <clears throat> uh, this is a complete first season of The Tudors. So I showed, when I showed the box set sort of on the floating shelf above my bed, I had the first two series of The Tudors on DVD in a box set. I then got season three onwards, I can't remember how many series there was at this moment in time, um, on Blu-ray, so I thought sod it and got first two on Blu-ray as well, because it's a series I really loved. Um, so that's season one of the Tudors. This is one of my favourite films ever, this is Brian De Palma's Blowout, starring John Travolta and Nancy Allen. So John Travolta is a sound record, or sound man, does sound effects for films. Um, he's out one day recording wild tracks for future reference when he witnesses a car fly off of a bridge land in the water um it turns out that it was a senator it's a bit like chapaquidic i think i said all this when i showed this on my top 10 films um a bit like chapaquidic the edward kennedy true life events um but then when he's playing back his tapes of that night, he thinks he hears a gunshot and he thinks it was originally, you know, the diagnosis was that it was a the tire blew out and that's what happened. 
but when he's playing back the tapes, he hit, he can hear a gunshot just before the tire blows out. Then he gets hold of a silent film that was recorded from, by somebody else who was there, and he syncs them together, and so on and so forth. And it's a sort of a, a conspiracy thrillery type film. It's just a wonderful, wonderful film. Watch it. Terminator 2. I don't need to tell you how great this film is. Uh, another Bill Bailey, another signed one through his website. This was his remarkable guide to the orchestra. So this was, it wasn't as funny as a lot of his other stuff. It's still funny, but it, this is him with an orchestra and he's, it's him talking through the instruments and what they do and what have you, but done in his own inimitable style. It's a lot of fun, but if if I was going to suggest watching his stuff, I'd say watch his, all his proper stand-up first, then watch this. Uh, nearly there. This is Bellamy. Um, i got this mainly because Natalia Tenner's in it, uh, but also Christina Ritchie's in it and Uma Thurman's in it. Big fan of both of those. Chris and Scott Thomas, likewise. Um, Robert Pattinson, he's a so soldier who charms his way through... Paris Society, I think it is. Um, charms his way through all their wealthy women. Yes, yeah, good film. Uh, this is the bed sitting room. So this not going back to Casino Royale. This isn't exactly psychedelic, but it's a definite sixties specific comedy. Um, sorry about the creaky creaky chair. So this is set in a dystopian post-apocalyptic London. Uh, Mrs. Ethel Shroke is crowned queen. Lord Fortnum awaits his in, Im, imminent transformation into a bed-sitting room. Meanwhile, 17 months pregnant Penelope and her parents leave the safety of their underground carriage to find a husband and finally reclaim their baggage. Uh, yeah, it's very strange. Uh, Peter Kirk, Spike Milligan... Uh, who else we've got? Dudley, Dudley Moore, Harry Seacombe, Arthur Lowe, Roy Kinnear, Rita Tushingham, Ronald Fraser, Jimmy Edwards, Michael Horden, Ralph Richardson, Spike Milligan co-wrote it. It's directed by Richard Lester. Yeah, it's very strange. I think you have to be a fan of the people involved to enjoy it. But I am. So do. Beatles Yellow Submarine. I'm a Beatles fan. Always loved this film, regardless. Um, looks great on Blu-ray. So they've done a really good job of restoring it. Quite a few extras on here as well. And obviously the sound's great in 5.1. And finally we have Machete Kills. Uh, really loved the first Machete film. This one not so much. Nice lenticular sleeve. Although it doesn't do that much. Um, yeah, I mean it's fun, but... The first one was better. Okay, so that's it for the end of this part and the end of tonight's recordings. It's half past 11. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy Easter. I'm guessing when this is going live. It'll be around then. It might Easter might have happened. Um, it'll be around then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye. <music>